evening, friends. I'm sure you are by now cruising along, uploading your CSV files for bulk eBay listings at a rapid clip. And you're probably asking yourself, how can I make this even more streamlined, clean, and efficient? Well, I'm here to give you a handy tip. This handy tip is called Smart Headers. And take a look at my Excel document here. Now it looks like there's a lot of stuff I haven't filled in yet, and I have a lot of work to do to get that all done, but guess what? This is a completed CSV file that I uploaded to eBay, and it's all it all worked, and that's all good. And I'll show you what the secret is here. And that is using smart headers. So instead of in the category column, putting that number and then putting it a million times, you simply do this. You say category equals and then the value. 689 is the one I was using. These are some postal things. And by putting it in the header here, it applies it to every single row. If there's a row that you want to override that, say you have something that's in a different category, just put it in here and it will override that one time. And this is applicable for every single column except for the action one, which you have to put manually in every row. So that would be add or draft or revise or any of the things that go under action you still have to do. And this column needs to be first. But all the other ones, where the, the values are like for every item, just do it the same way. So store category equals, and then that's the category for the store. Title, of course, is different for every item in this case, more or less. So I filled those in. The start price in this particular case is the same. So they all got smart headered. Condition Description is actually the same for all of these, so good description with possible signs of age or where. Please see pictures. So that got smart headered. I just put equals and the value. The URL is, of course, different for each, so that one's filled in. And then all of the rest of these, I could use smart headers. And um, so, you know, condition ID equals 3000. For the description, I actually use the same description for all of them, and I'll show you what that is, because there's something interesting here, um, which is that if you want to use line breaks in your description in either your smart headers or if you're filling them out individually, you can use HTML to create those. So you can use the BR character, or you could use P, and that will create the line breaks. If you don't know HTML, um, BR is the break and P is paragraph. Um, just to keep things simple, just do this BR, BR thing to create a space between your paragraphs. Um, it's like a caret, BR, and a closed caret, and then the same thing again. You can see it here. So that's a little handy hint and I think it only works in descriptions if the um, chap on the community board is to be believed which he is so um, yeah and the rest of these format equals fixed price best offer equal enabled equals one and so on and so forth for the whole thing so this file you can see is much simpler than some and it took me a lot less time to fill it out and make sure everything looked right. So hopefully that will save you time too. I hope that was helpful. Thank you and take care.